for that Dutch here. I am with my son Cooper Dutton and we are going to the game. Isn't that magnificent in the background? We've flown all the way over from New Jersey, USA and we are so excited to go. Are you excited to go to the match? Yeah. And we are going to see Newcastle versus the mighty Reds. And who could forget the unbelievable games between Liverpool and Newcastle that finished 4-3 on two occasions. Collymore closing in and Collymore won it in stoppage time. Say, say, say hello to everybody, say goodbye. Bye. Ta-da for now, ta-da. Liverpool, top of the league. Liverpool, Liverpool, top of the league. Hello everybody and happy Boxing Day, happy Christmas and happy New Year. Let's just throw it all out there. So, as you can see, this is Dutz or Duttoni today, as the shirt says. Cough for that. I am your host. And I had the luxury of travelling back to England, back home, to watch Liverpool play Newcastle United, watch Liverpool play Manchester City, and watch Liverpool play Arsenal. Two at home, one away. As you can see, this shirt was, was like the, the shirt. As I was walking around the ground for the Arsenal and the Newcastle game, both at home, this was the shirt everyone was wearing. And I thought to myself, I've got that somewhere from when I was a kid, so I'll look for it. I mean, 1992, um, St. Henry shirt. 100 year shirt, and that was the away kit there. It says 1892 on it. Both of them, Adidas. Both of them, quality. The yellow one actually is the first shirt that I ever ordered, and it came the day it was released. I got it from the Liverpool shop. Otherwise, you get them for your Christmas, you get them for your birthdays. I very rarely did I ever get one on the, the day it came out. I think that was the first one I ever did. So, I picked up a few of my shirts. Like I said, this was the one I was seeing around Anfield the most, but it didn't have the Adidas on there, or the stripes. So it was kind of a knockoff, and people are wearing it. I didn't like this shirt because of the cricket-style neck to it, but I, I'm, it still fits me. It's pretty cool. You can see my little crown paint there. I got that kit as well when I was about, what, say 10, and it's just over me. Me left shoulder there in the corner. I'll get that more on show at a later date, but that's there as well, brought that back. So, the games, I was able to take my son, Cooper Dutton, to his first ever match, and it's going to be brilliant for him because he's going to have this as a record of his, of his first game, and hopefully he'll look back on this video with fond memories. I remember my first game. I've publicised it. I've done videos about it before, going with my Uncle Jimmy to watch Liverpool play up switch in the FA Cup. Phenomenal. I actually found the original tickets that I'll show you on the next video um, in my bedroom. I still had them. So, hope everyone's got a brew. Hope you all had a boss Christmas. Uh, fantastic New Year. And Liverpool are top of the league. Happy days. So one thing I did know was I was going to get to see the Klopp's midfield repertoire. So, going into this game off the back of beating Wolves 2-0. We knew Henderson was going to play because he missed the last game. Obviously, he's a Sunderland fan, former Sunderland captain. He would be right up for this game. And the Newcastle fans would give him a lot of stick, which is great. A little, little bit of pantomime theme to the game being Christmas time. When Alden, former Newcastle player, playing against his former team, would be up for this game. And then he added a little bit of spice because we could go a little bit more attacking at home and he threw in Shaqiri. The defence and the attack is the same. Don't need to tell you about that. Same with the goalkeeper. So, basically, Klopp's just going to keep changing his midfield. I feel like he's going to keep doing this um, through the rest of the season, really. I think his first choice defence will be on show. His first choice attack will be on show. Hopefully, there's no injuries. Obviously, we're looking for Gomez to come back. But I'm pretty much sure that that's how he's going to play out the rest of the season. Just changing that engine room. Just just tweaking it a little bit. Um I was I was at the luxury of going to the two classic games between Liverpool and Newcastle. I was in the cop. I had my season ticket then, and we beat them four three. One game went toe to toe. It was the likes of Ginola, Ferdinand, Espria, just a phenomenal team. Newcastle had assembled to challenge Manchester United for the league, and that game went backwards and forwards. One nil, one one, two one, two two, all the way to three three, and then Carly Moore wins it. The following year, same result, Fowler wins it. Both 4-3s. Liverpool 3-0 three, three up at half-time. Newcastle come back to 3-3 three, three in the second half and scored the winning goal. So, I didn't think this game was going to be one of them, and it really wasn't. But the fact to see 
For fact. For fact. To see Rafa Benitez stood next to Jurgen Klopp on the sideline was something I was not going to miss. Um, it was phenomenal to see the two of them standing there. And I was in the cop right in line. You can see it from the videos that I've put up with this video. Um, right in line with the with the 18-yard box. Looking at the touchline, watching Rafa interact with Jurgen Klopp. It's just phenomenal. Um, and it really was, for me, a testimonial-style practice game. It was like a bunch of bunch of practice players playing against Liverpool. That's how good Liverpool were. We really kept the ball beautifully. We were so patient in our build-up. Um, we just we just moved the ball around the pitch. Newcastle really offered no threat to us throughout the course of the match. I left this game thinking Allison was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Uh, his distribution, and he plays just one pass where he splits like three Newcastle players to the right. It was just breathtaking. You know, on, a, on a, game, a game where he'd not had much to do, what he did was immense. And I'm talking about his distribution, I'm talking about his ball manipulation, I'm talking about the way he moves and he starts attacks from his very being. He's just a beautifully awesome man. End of story. And he was he was my player that I really enjoyed watching the most. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. I had the luxury of sitting next to one of my best friends and Kevin Dixon. Super Kev. Thanks for getting me the tickets. Thanks for sorting that out at such late notice. It was just it was just awesome watching this this machine work. So we get the opening goal of a corner kick. Corner comes out, it's cleared, and then Lovren off a deep cross coming in. Newcastle defender, poorly, drops to Lovren, hits it on the half volley into the cop. I've got my son in my arms as I've celebrating the goal. It was it was so cool. Um we get in at half time. We haven't created too many chances, but we dominated the game. And we score within two minutes of the second half. Again. A very, very well crafted goal. Um, just sense, of, you know, just superb football. Ball gets to Momo, goes into the box. He pulled lightly. We get a penalty. It's one of them. You'll see the penalty. I'll show you it now. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Conference. And it is a score for Liverpool. Newcastle United at half time. Lovren scored an absolute screamer from the mighty Reds defender. Attacking a corner. It was a great goal. Superb finish. And it was cop end. Cop for that Newcastle United. Cop for that Rafa Benitez. You're going to have a walk alone. Looking forward to an amazing second half at Anfield. What a clever pleasure and a privilege it is to be here. For that one, Al. For that Come on, Mo Salah. Newcastle Lille to make it 2 0. Mo Salah, Mo Salah, Mo Salah, running down the wing, Mo Salah. <laughs> Poke myself in the eye. Anyway, so you see Salah's goal. That's me videoing it in the cop. Um, Salah slots it. Great goal, great penalty kick. Um, and then we push on from there, really. It's just so funny because, as you know, I wear the number 14. Liverpool have had a penalty at Anfield in 14 months. And I come home. And we get the penalty kick. On 14 months. We score it. And we slot it. 
fantastic stuff. So we get our first penalty at Anfield, whether it was or whether it wasn't. I was excited then to see Daniel Sturridge. Again, Liverpool control the game. Newcastle have this one attack, to be fair, where a deep cross comes in. And a Newcastle striker, I think it was Kennedy, volleys it. And he, vo he, vo he misses the target, but it, it could have been an opener. Liverpool tend to give two chances away in every game. Now, the two chances we give away, quality teams are going to punish us with the two chances that they get. Now, I'm not going to pretend that this video isn't recorded from a, a later time. Because it is, and it's going to go out today. But... Obviously, City get the two chances, they score the two goals. Game of fine margins. But we give Newcastle two chances, they don't take them. Bring on a few subs. Like I said, I was excited to see Daniel Sturridge come on. And uh, Shaqiri gets his goal. Kind of playing in the centre-forward position. It was a great goal from Shaqiri. It was a lovely little bit of play. I mean, really was probably the best goal in the game. And Shaqiri slots it from across. It was just all the build-up. The whole, the whole, all Liverpool's third goal against Newcastle is class. It's a touch of class. Uh, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. And then the Brazilian comes on, Fabinho. And he adds, a, he adds a fourth off a corner kick. Bullet header. Lovren was competing with it as well. So all in all, absolutely fantastic game. Um, we play at home. We score four goals past, past Newcastle. And all is, all is hunky-dory. And again, my first game was amazing. I hope my son Cooper Dutton's first game was amazing. How many times do you get to see Liverpool smash a team for now? Absolutely brilliant. Um, the atmosphere was great. The cop were on form. We sang the Van Dyke songs, quality. You'll never walk alone, quality. Just a great time. It was a great, great Christmas, and it was just a fantastic occasion. And I was so happy, and it was a pre pleasure and a privilege to be part of that. And that's all i got to say about that, to quote a little bit of Forrest Gump. All right, I'm excited to do the next video, which will be the Arsenal game from Anfield, where I was this time in the main stand. So let me get on that now. All right, this has been today, Dutoni. Cough for that. If you like the video, if you, if you like the fact that Liverpool is still top in the league, put a like on the video. Subscribe on the channel, on YouTube. Hit notifications so you never miss a video. And like us on Facebook. Cough for that. Cough for that, Newcastle. Cough for that, Rafa Benitez, even though we love you. Um, ta ra for now. Ta ra. Ta ra. And you know. Never walk alone